Hello, I'm Cheryl McCoy, and today we're talking about the role of the teacher online, face-to-face, -face, in Moodle, or not. We can speak to the traditional role of the teacher, both in the classroom and online. In the classroom, there's responsibility to students, parents, school, community, package, guidelines, policies, and curriculum, and it's difficult to make changes. Now, you're looking at that going, well, is that what a teacher's really all about? You know, this is the framework. And if you want to be a teacher, you've got to work within this framework. Now, the online framework, your responsibility may or may not be the same as the face-to-face -face class. The teacher could be the owner. So, in other words, you could have your own academy or your own classroom online. The online teacher, okay, so you get to create modify and use your own guidelines, your own policies, your own curriculum. But you've got to think about that. You get to create. The thing about Moodle, the really nice thing about Moodle is that there are people in the past who have made up packages and boxes and blocks and activities, but you can pick and choose you can even create your own blocks or activities for your Moodle class, or you can take the ones that are available to you and you can modify them. You can use them. You still need guidelines and policies in general, you know, if something doesn't go right. When you're speaking of the role of the teacher, we're thinking of a level of proficiency, not rank. Although they will say rank, they'll use those words rank. But proficiency means that you, first of all, you're the teacher. So we're going to assume that you want to make sure that you do the best you can. So you need to have access to all the parts of the Moodle course that will help you every day run the class. You can make someone else a teacher in Moodle to be in charge of one type of activity or resource like another teacher who's like an expert in this area you could have them be a particular type of teacher there's some with editing rights and there's some without editing rights teachers are more proficient than a student strictly speaking if you're a teacher in a Moodle you're not going to be able to change a whole lot this part of Moodle is like the learning management system it's not the the lush part it's like when you have a learning management system and you're teaching, say you're teaching using it um, in a school like a college and you want students to do a particular thing and you go into learning management system thinking you can have them do that and there's really no way for them to do that. They need a, a, a book. You see in Moodle they'd have a book or they need to have some other kind of container to put the bookmarks say that you want them to have for a particular topic because you're going to be trying to teach them how to do research. The manager role in Moodle allows the person to be in charge, like the teacher of old, to have more flexibility, to access to activities and resources in the Moodle, and we'll talk more about activities and resources. For other more complex Moodle components, even the manager must go to administrator. This is information from Moodle.org. This is a development of roles, a system that will allow authorized users to define an arbitrary number of roles. Okay, so a role in Moodle is somebody who has a list of permissions to do particular things. So you can be a student and you don't have a lot of permissions. You can be a teacher. You could be a non-editing teacher. They don't have a lot of permissions. But an editing teacher, they can change things around and they do have a lot, a lot of permissions permissions. Roles in Moodle. Your status in a class determines the role you are initially given in a Moodle course. Yes, that's before anybody knows who you are. When we first get into Moodle MOOC class, we were students for about a day, and then we became teachers. We completed activities and then move on to managers. Teaching with Moodle, a Moodle forum. This I put in there because it's pretty nice. It tells a variety. It's a discussion forum from uh, managers, administrators, teachers who are using Moodle right now. Every time you talk about how wonderful something is, which Moodle is, and teaching is, you have to be able to think 
there's always something that could go wrong and you don't you want to prepare for it but you don't want to live in it so you don't want to shy away from examining the possible you just want to make sure it won't happen for instance if you gave a student some limited uh, teaching rights and they had access to information that they could put in information without being double checked somewhere in the system you you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so you're going to have to uh, prepare for the worst hope for the best and most times it will be so have a great time learning to be a teacher and uh, enjoying the joy of being able to help people online and be as close as you can be in a regular classroom. Thank you. I'm Cheryl McCoy. If you would subscribe to my uh, channel, Into Teaching Everyone, and uh, give me a like, I would really appreciate it.